This conference will now be recorded. I'd like to open the regular council meeting September 19th, 2020, call to order at 7 p.m. Would you all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, are any additions or corrections to the agenda tonight? I have none. Okay. I have one there. Okay. I'd like to put alley maintenance on new business. Alley maintenance? Yes. Okay, is that it? Anyone like to make a motion to accept the agenda with the one addition of alley maintenance to new business? I'll make that motion, Mayor. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second's been made by Councilor Norman. Would you call a roll, please, Deb? Mayor Hobart? Aye. Councilor Ash? Aye. Councilor Allen? Aye. Councilor Norman? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Any pr presentations tonight? Okay, moving right into the mayor's report. Um, every second council meeting of the month, we announce the um, Citizens of the Month um, Recognition Award. And it was my honor this month for September. And I, I chose uh, Teresa Kilgore. And unfortunately, she's not able to make it tonight. Something came up, she called me about an hour ago, but Teresa um, has become a part of the community uh, with her, along with her family um, since 2007 here in Zenonia. Um, I watched her um, over the last several years. Um, she's um, the thrift shop, thrift shop manager um down here and also she's a cook at the senior center and she works really hard um she took on the cooking job this last year um there was an opening and a demand and she really stepped up they do a lot of meals on wheels they do about 18 or 19 meals on wheels uh per day um when I get into my senior report, I'll talk about more of the meals they make, like they did, did 638 meals last month. So they're real busy down there. Um, the senior center is open uh, for meals three days a week. And so she works really hard down there. Plus she's the um, kind of the overseer of the Friends of the Scout Cabin. and. She handles all the reservations and works really hard with that um, project down there in Hawkins Park. Um, so I nominated her. I'm going to um, present her certificate on Wednesday morning and I'll get a photo um, together presenting that certificate. So congratulations to Teresa Kilgore. I think she does a lot for the seniors. She does. And a lot of work at the thrift shop. And I think she's been there for four years now and she's managed it almost that length of time, I think. So, right. yeah, does a lot of work there. So, um, Council Committee meeting reports tonight. Nope. There was a lack of quorum, so the cemetery was canceled. Okay. Um, Parks Committee has not happened, but they did um, opt this month to move it up due to some schedule conflicts. So instead of the 28th, it'll be this Wednesday, the 21st. 
Okay. I attended two uh, board meetings uh, this month. First one was the library board meeting. Um, don't have too much to report on that meeting itself. Um, so I, I don't have anything to report on that at this time, other than there's gonna be some changes there. So that's all I can report tonight. Senior board meeting last week, um, I attended that Friday and um, things are going well, um, almost back to normal from the pandemic. Um, thrift shop did uh, $3,900, um, which is very good again um, for the month. Um, again, they, they um, passed out 638 meals served, um, so they're doing well. They're, um, as far as the cabin in Vernonia, they're I'm thinking about restaining the deck and the railing uh, needs it pretty bad right now. So I think they're in the process uh, of finding somebody. Um, I suggested maybe the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts want to help out with that. Might be a, a good thing for the Scouts to do and participate in with some uh, leadership, adult leadership. So. Um, I think there's going to be um, a new roof installed um, this fall. So oh. that'll be nice. Really? Yeah. So it's been approved and and contractor was awarded. So um, that's gonna happen fairly soon. So that'll be nice. And they had a successful senior picnic on August 12th and I wasn't able to attend that myself because I was ill, but um, they had, uh, they gave out 75 meals for that and 55 people attended. So they had a good, good picnic. So that's about all I have to report on the senior. So um, any topics from the floor tonight? I received none. Nope. Okay, moving right along. Consent agenda for acceptance. She wants to say something. Yes, I've never been to these, so I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll help you fill out the form later. Okay, what you could do, Dory, is just come to the dais here and state your name and address. Okay. And okay. I'll, we'll give you five minutes to speak. Okay. And we can't just so you know what the audience participation we don't make any final decisions uh, but we just listen to hear your okay. i'm dory fridland i'm the female host at anderson city park we've been there three years next month and we have a lady who is homeless who lives outside the park on adams street um, she is causing a lot of conflict in the park uh, we've talked to officer canahan which i never get his last name right um, this lady back here in the pink shirt, she has harassed her twice in the park, in the breast rooms, and she has followed her down into town, harassing her. Um, twice that I know about. Don't talk about following me and harassing me in town. Okay. Um, her plates are, she has no plates. She has no temporary tags. And I don't know why she's being allowed to stay there. Um, during Jamboree, she harassed two of the campers. That was also reported. So I don't know why she's being allowed to stay there. Um, there's been another incident about a Vernonia person. I don't know if you want to hear about it or not. So that's up to you, whether you want to hear that conflict. I would like to hear it. Okay. Um, this person put on Facebook that she wanted to leave Vernonia but she had no money for gas. So this person went down and put $82 worth of gas in her car. It's a white Volvo. Um, she's still parked there. She's never left. She has slammed this person on Facebook um, several times. 
um, ruined her name. She's a longtime family member of this community. Um, she doesn't even want to come down Adam Street because she doesn't want to face her. She feels threatened by her. All I know is her name is Charlotte. And something does need to be done about her. And so that is what I have to say about her. The other thing is we are having constantly having people broken into the men's bathroom at the park. They're trying to get money out of the shower machines. Bob is constantly replacing the locks and they continue to break into those showers. And we do not know what to do about it. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Did you get an answer from the uh, Sergeant Carnahan about, about you fought, you made her fill out a complaint on Charlotte? No, on, the, on your first person that's yes, he said um, that just said that he can't do anything at this time. Hmm. Yeah. And why I don't have any idea. But if he's being threatening to people in my park, something has got to be done. Period. Okay. Well, thank you for bringing it to our attention. Okay. Oh. And as far as the thievery, we don't know what to do about that. Um, it just keeps continuing over and over and over. And Sean says, unless they're caught red handed, you can't do anything. Well, they're never going to be caught because it's all different times of night. Well, maybe we can put that list. Uh, we're, we are working on, in fact, the topics of cameras is going to be one of our discussions tonight. So. We've got cameras, but we can't reach around to the men's restrooms. And that's the invasion of privacy because you can't put them in the bathrooms. Right. So, you know. So anyway. So to clarify, is the person in your first comment and then Charlotte from your second comment the same person? Yes. Okay. Yes, I so. Okay. Thank you, Dory. You're welcome. Maybe changing it to tokens instead of cash <laughs> for, the, for the for showers. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so. They want more showers. Yeah. And we get lots of people in the community coming in and taking showers. It's just not people right. out of the park. Not just your campers. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, moving into Cassetta Jennifer acceptance library board meeting minutes for June 2022. Yeah, I was reading that and I was a little taken aback. They want to forgive everybody's debt. If you don't bring back a book, it's just, I was kind of reading through the minutes and it was suggested that no more late fees and Full forgiveness if they just never bring a book back and a little bit of a conversation so back Washington and forth. Washington County on that. actually rolled that out over a year ago and um, they've actually had better returns because then people mm -hmm. feel like instead of just, well, now I can't afford to rent from the library, so I'll just keep this book and sever that relationship, they want to bring it back so they can continue to borrow. That gets rid of the right people. What if they don't bring the book back? Well, I think it said if they didn't bring the book back, there would still be a fee. A replacement fee? Mm -hmm. I saw the $50 is the max late fee. Um, I know when the flood destroyed my daughter's books, <laughs> they were like a hundred and some dollars a piece, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the fines are maxed at fifty dollars. I guess the replacement would just be the value of the book, whatever that might be. But I know that Washington County, like countywide, every library, they took away all late fees, um, and they actually have had better, more positive. Return. Well, this was just a suggestion that Troy suggested. It, it. I don't think it's a policy they have. Yeah, I didn't know if that would come to council for a change like that or how. No, it's within their board. Because it well, is. It would come to council in the form of the master fee schedule. Yeah, okay. Eventually, in their their policy book. 
the library policy handbook? It is, a, it is, it does raise funds that we'd have to be, we'd have to backfill those funds somewhere else. Yeah, so it looks like somebody just brought it up. There needs yep. more flushing out and then they'll bring it back in the form of a recommendation. Just a suggestion, like it says, if the item is not damaged. I see what you mean though. They get, oh geez, I don't have $50. I'm never gonna go to that library again. Or right, something. then they just keep the book and then you don't have that patron of the library. So it was kind of like an equity issue of, you know, they didn't want the fees racking up to prevent someone from ever using their access to the library. And then at the same time, then they were just losing books, which didn't really offset the amount of the late fee or the late fee didn't offset the replacement value of the person who weren't getting the late fee. I've, I've been faced with that too, where I've, gone to check out a book and I realized I didn't have one and then my late fee was more than I went out if I went out and bought the book and gave it to the library. Yeah. It's kind of silly. If you're getting the book back. This is the first time hearing of it, but it makes sense. I mean if you're a for profit business like Blockbuster it makes sense, but yeah, for a city library. But look how it worked out for them. Sure. <laughs> There's like one left, right? Okay, anything else on the li library meeting minutes for June? If not, would anyone like to make a motion to accept the meeting minutes for the library? I'll move to accept the library meeting minutes for June. So moved by Councilor Ash, is there a second? Oh, second. Thank you, Councilor Norman. Would you call the roll, please, Stephanie? Councillor Norman? Aye. Councillor Allen? Aye. Councillor Aye. Councillor Ash? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Consent agenda for approval. City Council meeting minutes for September 6th, 2022. Yeah, I had one thing, Mayor. Yes. Um, We were talking about the request for chemicals. There's quite a discussion on Freedom of Information Act. I think I asked two or three times to finally clarify that a person could request that information and it's not mentioned anywhere in here. And I'd like to just add that. Can you tell me where we're at roughly? Uh, second paragraph down. The committee also discussed the desire Page four. Page four, JR. So just above topics from the floor, there's a paragraph there. And I read through it and it didn't mention anything about, we had quite a conversation on that. I can re-review and bring back proposed edits. Or we could just decide right now. Well, this is, so these aren't verbatim, so they're not every single thing that we talked about. And I do remember, I do remember the Freedom of Information Act. And then my response was related to the fact that that document doesn't exist. And so that was be denied. Right, I understand that. But I said, if someone really wanted to know the chemicals, they could just do a Freedom of Information Act on each and every a chemical. Public request. Uh, a public reference request. Public records request, sorry. But we don't have a list of on each process is what he was saying and then they would have to just pull that out i didn't want it to look out. like we're shutting it down from the public on somebody want really wanting to know what i what we did i thought as a council decided that it wasn't something that we wanted the committee Correct. to follow but if the individual was hell bent on knowing he had the right to request that information and I believe you said after the third time I asked that yes, they did. I don't believe that it was asked three times. We can go back and forth about what was discussed or not. However, I'm happy to include a couple of lines that would include uh, Councillor Allen suggest, suggested that they make a Freedom of Information Act request and staff responded that, that such a list does not exist. However, they're welcome to make the request or I can go back and listen to the recording and bring back further edits. Yeah, because that makes it sound like to someone reading it that you can go ahead and make the request, but we don't have that document, so we're not gonna give it to you. 
We don't have that document. You don't have that document. Have to give it to right, you. but you still have to buy each individual chemical. So you have a record of each individual chemical you buy, unless you're getting them for free. What I remember being said is it will request each individual process, and that would list those chemicals, and it just wouldn't be extrapolated and combined. For and I'm happy to listen to it. Okay, if you want to bring it back, that's fine. I just I just want to make it clear that I would I wasn't trying to lock somebody out of information on public. Oh, I didn't think that 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 some of this is reflected at all. And th there was a lot of discussion, and I remember Councilor. I have no idea what on the back of my chair. Sorry, let me mute the citizen. Um. I do recall Councillor Norman bringing up the MSDS sheets also. So there, there was a lot of things that were mentioned. This is a summary, but I'm happy to listen to the recording again and come up with a longer discussion summary. Right, someone. Sorry. That was all I had, I believe. On. I wasn't trying. I was, my intent was not to leave out discussion that you thought was valuable. No, I wasn't saying it was your intent. I'm just worried about someone that might have been listening to interested and then read the notes or something, or they read this and go, oh, they just said no. You know, and they we don't I don't have a and if an individual on the committee really wants to know something, he does have the right to make the request. Yes. Everybody has a right to request documents. Exactly. It's just whether or not we can satisfy those requests right i mean that's up to you guys once someone makes the request right i just wanted to kind of want to see it on there somehow they have a right to make the request yeah. so do you want to meet bring these um... um i would like council to make a motion to table the decision for these minutes in order for staff to bring back further clarification at the next meeting right the september 6th council meeting minute yeah I'll move that we table the council meeting minutes for September 6, 2022, and ask staff to uh, bring back a version with an expanded paragraph at the next meeting. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. Second's been <clears throat> second, excuse me, by Councillor Allen. Call the roll, please, Stephanie. Councillor Allen? Aye. Mayor Hobart? Aye. Councillor Norman? Aye. Councillor Ash? Aye. Motion carried. Moving right into unfinished business. Staff report, camera discussion can be found on pages seven through nine. <coughs> <coughs> I was hoping that Joe that would be here to tell us if there was word from GorgeNet since packet. Um, that's my other suggestion is to table this until the next meeting. And hopefully at that time, we'll have more information from GorgeNet and Joe will be present. <laughs> yeah, I looked on the links, looked at the types of cameras. There's a million different types of cameras. I've been looking for my own house too. So it's a... Uh... Yeah. It's a difficult decision to make on one, it seems like. You know. But uh, uh, I think 4K resolution and good weatherproof is probably the most important. Yeah, and I'd like to hear also from Josette, I guess, what, like, what is the background on these three? Did we talk to someone who's using them? Where, you know, are they recommended? Things like that. So, yes, <laughs> waiting. So, would anyone like to make a motion to table this till the next meeting in October? I move that we uh, table this till the next meeting uh, for a camera discussion. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Second's been made. Would you call the roll, please, Stephanie? Councillor Ash? Aye. Councillor Norman? Aye. Councillor Allen? Aye. Mayor Hobart? Aye. Motion carried. Okay, new business, alley maintenance. Oh. Well, 
full disclosure, I live next to the probably one of the worst alleys in the city. So just get that out of the way. I've lived there for since 1991. The alley was okay when I moved there. Then come along about 20 years ago, a big machine come down the alley and ground up the asphalt and put chip seal down and never address the water issue that runs down it from a spring or a water leak at the top of the hill. And it took about a year of the neighbor running his log truck up to just break it all apart. And the ruts are so bad the cops won't drive down it. A couple of years ago, I picked up multiple, multiple parts from cars. Neighbors are getting their underneath ripped off, mufflers, plastic. Um, shouldn't have to drive on the high spots to get to your garage. And the, the comment I've got from the city for the last three years is we don't do alley maintenance. And I wanna push this to council to change that or address this issue because it's on our transportation plan. It's city plotted. The garages on that hill were all built in the back. So that's how everybody accesses their garages. And you shouldn't have to rip off three or $4,000 worth of Cadillac converters. And I've, I would assume the city would be responsible for that. I've made um, requests that seem to fall on deaf ears. And I'm sure it's not just one alley in town, but I'm not asking for asphalt or I don't know where our policy is gonna be on this, but when there's a foot hump in the middle, it makes it pretty hard to navigate and the water runs down the ruts, um, a river in the wintertime, but it just seems that we need to address this as a council that the city used to maintain them, has done work on them. I've got the tar on my concrete to prove it where they chip sealed it. And now I'm told we don't do it, but I've never seen a policy that says we don't do it. So that's kind of what is there still asphalt in the crown, JR? Is it solid? A little tiny bit of chip seal. But not much. Just so I've had to run. run. I've had to go out there with pressure washers and work for hours and try to knock the crown off so I can at least get into my garage. But it's not just me that uses the alley. Yeah. Uh, police or fire or JR. That kind of stuff. I need you to state, I am declaring a potential conflict of interest as I live and or may or may not benefit from this decision. Yeah, that's why I... You actually have to say the word or it will not be... We all know what you mean, but you actually have to say it. I declare a potential conflict of interest because I live on an alley. Correct. Thank you. Uh, I'm not asking to get it fixed, obviously, because I'm a counselor. It hasn't got fixed in the three and a half years I've been here. But I think we need to address it as a policy issue. Maybe that's something we bring back when we have a full council. Is there a name for that alley? No, alley. No, it's just off of Texas. Yeah. Okay. So basically, any it'd be almost any alley up that on that hill. Okay. Yeah. They're all crappy. That sounds like a good work session topic for you guys. Yeah, I would like to know about all the alleys then, because the scope is obviously pertinent. Yes, I had an issue by the lake and ripped off my exhaust. And I was told I was out of lane of traffic and they wouldn't cover it, the city's insurance. So I think we do need to have a workshop. Would you like me to bring back a staff report at the next meeting with dates and Sure. October and November, if you guys could bring back your availability, I'll bring staffs. Okay. Sure. Be good. Thank you, JR. Thank you for listening. And I think, oh, yeah. I think it needs to be addressed. One I know exactly what you're saying.
Business from the departments. Everyone has a police report for the month. Any questions on the report or discussion? I know our new officer is doing a great job and fitting right into our community. Officer Kendall, I see him and he and um, Sergeant Carnahan uh, patrolling a lot up at the school and, and um, around town most of the day, every day. And so I think they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, I think I saw them Saturday together, but does he go by William or Bill or? Officer Kendall. Huh? Officer Kendall. But his first name. His first name is William. Okay. And his last name is Kendall. Yeah, I read that. I didn't know if he just yeah. off the street, he would go by Bill or William. I'll find out from him. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, they've been up at the school quite a bit. They were wow. up there this morning and they put up one of those things that tells you your speed as you drive by. The posted speed limit was five. Was like... <laughs> <laughs> been a lot of traffic on Missouri lately. More than normal. Right? Yeah. Well, We're happy to have which is, school. which is, I mean, during the pandemic, pandemic, there's been a lot of uh, parents bringing their kids, and, and uh, that's still kind of the, the norm up there. Even though we're busting them quite a bit, but there's a lot of parent travel. Do we know when he goes to academy? That should be December. Uh, yeah. December right now. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also on a wait list. Okay, for earlier, last things I've heard, like for an earlier opportunity. Anything else? Um, any other departments? Nothing. Wow. Ordinances and resolutions. Correspondence, okay, I have in correspondence. Um, I think the last council meeting, I said I was gonna participate in the the marketing 101 session, which I did. And um, there were two um, presenters here for the their program. Um, one was uh, Sierra from the county and she was here. And then another gal that uh, gave a presentation um, her name was Sarah, and um, there's only one other um, citizen here, and then the uh, editor, Scott Laird, was here, and myself. And I'm glad I sat in on it because um, listened to a lot of the uh, marketing procedures and how to make a business successful and some of the things they look at is whether there's a need for it, um, how much it's gonna cost. And so a lot of the things that they talked about, I, I kinda not only did a personal um, kind of evaluation of my own personal, how I go about purchasing on like a washing machine or anything that I wanna buy for myself, we could all, always you also use it as a city council on the city and making decisions on on um, certain things that come before us and whether it's needed in the community and so forth. So it was very interesting. I'm glad I went. Um, I think the the small business. Um, program that we supported and gave some money to last year with Paul Vogel and his 
uh, new office formation of that group, uh, I think is really gonna be beneficial for our county or our city too. And um, I've thought about a lot lately about reinstating a chamber of commerce here in Renonia. And I think it's important for any city. And um, I think municipalities that do have a chamber of commerce, they benefit, um, um, they can get additional funding, like for example, during the pandemic, because we didn't have a chamber of commerce, we don't, I think we lost out on about $75,000 because we didn't have a chamber. Um, so it's just a matter of getting the businesses and, and store owners and, and business owners together. And um, I kind of would like to see that happen in Renonia. So um, I, I think uh, that small business uh, program in the county will be able to help us do that. And um, so I'm kind of excited about that for our future. Okay, that's all I have. City Ministry Report. Any questions, discussion? Well, I read it and then looked at you, Matilla, bump outs being tore out for the third time. Yeah. I, uh, Did we find out why? Yeah, yeah, I could tell you why. Um, when the, in fact, I just happened by chance to uh, park across the street from the upper one the day the inspector arrived and I was parked there straightening the sign and Robert was sitting across the street, the engineer, and he walked over and tried to help me with the sign. And, and he, I said, how are you doing? And he said, wait for the inspector. So I, I stayed around and, and uh, met the inspector from ODOT and, and um, she said it looked pretty good and the finish looked good. And so I was very confident that when I left, I, I introduced myself as a mayor and, and I said, I got a, I was only able to stay about 20 minutes. I had to go pick up some more kids, my school bus. And, and, uh, so when I left, I felt really good about it. Well, Come to find out that the lower one on Umatilla didn't pass because I think it, I think she said the finish was not cosmetically right. adequate. So our city crew demolished it today. I've seen that. Yep. I think the one on Spencer passed. Hasn't been inspected yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, kind of back to square one. Did I get that about right, Stephanie? Um, I don't have a report in front of me. Okay. I'd be ad-libbing. I did notice there's no ribbon around it. Just a couple of cones spread way apart. Someone could stumble in there at night. They should probably be completely surrounded for big blocks of concrete. Yeah. I didn't let the guys know in the morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Work on it late, but I don't know. You can't leave it like that, at least not in the city. I mean, the upper one. It could be filled in with landscaping. That would help it. So I think he means the one that was tore out. The one that's tore out. Oh, those tore out. Yeah. Walks. I'm just worried someone will. Right zip up there in the dark or walk or ride a bike and then say, well, it wasn't barricaded off, uh, uh, you know. I've had barricades completely darn near solid and the bicycles will zigzag between the barricades and then go into a ditch and blame, blame us because the barricades weren't like totally 100%. <laughs> they had to totally go like this to get around. So. And I haven't seen a report either, JR, but 
All right. That's what. Did they have to pull the lower side out of Umatilla? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> um, do you know if the slide was put in yet? Like that in the hand? You don't know on Thursday and Friday, so I don't know what happened when I was today. Okay. Last I heard it was shipped. But that was last week. <laughs> okay. So I haven't heard anything about the play structure. Um I needed and forgot to get a photo before the dam was taken down of Dewey. Do you know? It, who would I contact? Does the city have a photo that could be used? Rob Wilson. Um, yeah, I, for somebody who absolutely despises Facebook, Rob Wilson's Facebook page, he has a lot of good pictures on there. Okay, you think he would be open he, to one being he used? He has a scrounge one up, but he has some, he posted pretty regularly. Okay. I will reach out. I need a picture of the day or something like that, right? Okay. Um, and then the last thing I was going to ask is, um, I was expecting the resolution or whatever it's going to be. I don't think it'll be an ordinance, um, for the peace tree to come. It will be as soon as they give us the verbiage that they actually Okay. I was just making sure that was the whole There haven't been any adopted in Oregon. We will be the first one. And okay. so they're trying to source another one that we can basically poach. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Jar. I had, if you're going to make notes, Stephanie, I I had another question for the administrator. I was wanting an update on the museum fix that was about a year ago. Council wanted to put some money toward that, and then oh, yeah. they steered to a direction of applying for grants. And I just wanted to know how that was going. Yeah, I can have Josette get a hold of you. Or I can let Josette know that you want her to get a hold of you. I'd like to hear that too. I'll just bring it back to Put it as an action item. Yeah. I, I know the grant process can take a while. I'm just curious if anyone, any grants have actually been put in yet. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I was just curious if she, I had a chance to talk to Josette about that water that runs year round from Emily's down the alley where I live. And she said she was going to test it for chlorine. It's actually picked up pace in the last week. And we know we don't really have any rain. So, so I, I know, I know the guys, uh, Jeff called, there's a company that comes out to actually detect. Uh, he called the company to come out and help detect it. Uh, I mean, I know it's not by a water line. It's weird, but yeah. it's just weird how it runs year around. Yeah, he called for outside outside help. Okay, well, that answers that question. Yeah. This is the one. Uh, it's on Oa Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. The water the water runs down behind my house in the alley year round for the last thirty years. Yeah, a firm has been called. I'm not sure when that was scheduled. I thought we had a little thing you just dipped in the water or something. But. Well, the, to test it, but we know it's city water. And so he called to help have somebody come help detect it because it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense of where it's coming from. It is city water. Yes. That's been running for 30 years. <laughs> yes. The first I heard of it was just last week when somebody came into City Hall and the guys went up there and... Yeah, I talked to Josette about it in her office and she said she was going to test it because it just seemed weird how... It, it's almost at the top of the hill, how it could be a spring that runs year round. But yeah, I'm gonna assume it's one of the same, so. Then it's kind of destroyed the alley too over the years, so. Anything else on the CA report? Okay, moving on to items from the mayor or counselors. And counselors. I think I've talked about everything I was. I, I see our park host is here. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Me? Yeah. 
It's going good down there? Huh? Going good? So I've been there almost three years. And when things go wrong, I receive email. But how long do you got to wait for something to get done? Yeah. Especially the one line by the first stop to the left of me been, had problems, and now it's just, it's just not. The one where they went out halfway around the lake a long time ago? No. Uh oh. Remember they went like straight across was that the one by the bridge? I remember a long about a so year or two ago. The closest to the dock to my left. Okay. It's just had problems since I've been there. And I complained about it initially when I learned about the work, you know, was told about work orders and nothing gets done. Have you talked to them lately? I spent another note running across between the pit toilet and the pump is out. But they, they don't answer you back, so you know. There's two lights out. Yep. Okay. And you have people that come and walk at night, you know. That's not a West Oregon Electric, that's a city issue, Stephanie. Yes. Okay. Somebody said that they have West Oregon to replace the lights because they have the cherry picker. Oh, maybe. I don't know. The bulbs. Hmm? The bulbs. The bulbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, they're higher than ours. Because I asked Blake, and he thought it was the bulb, and it it does its funny things. It used to kind of blink, and then I used to time it. It would stay on for five seconds, and then go off, and then come back on, and then other days it didn't work, and it did. Now it's just not. Yeah, I remember. Was it years ago? We were trying to figure out because Ben's by his house i think he would see a flicker and then we would go out to look not we somebody else would go out to look and it would be on and then we'd hear the report that it's not working again or it's flickering and then it would be on but that's the last i heard of it and this is dead oh so now it's totally the drinking fountain still don't work up in front out front the drinking fountain <laughs> yeah people are complaining about the docks uh, we know about the docks <laughs> Those have been bad for the last three years, too. Unfortunately, people are going up to wood and volunteer. I mean, maybe it's a temporary fix for so they can get it done the way they're supposed to. The way they're supposed to. Yeah, I think the estimate we got was pretty spendy, so that's kind of a work in progress on those docks. Unfortunately, we're trying can't, to figure can't out. Can something temporarily be done? It's the floats underneath. Well, no, it's the ramp. The ramps they're getting they're getting holes in it. Oh, the flywheel. Yeah, I I brought that up before that we should replace yeah, the flywheel. I've taken pictures. I've had people say, "Hey, I can see wood in the work." You know, um, the latest is somebody was going to supply, and then Desmond was going to said he's you know do the work and uh, ramp flywheel. I thought he already had a waiver with the city as far as I have Has that been turned in on your work orders? No. Okay. Oh, well, no, I spent bitch trash. I use those spray paint and orange, but there's so many now that I, Mitch came by uh, a while back and took pictures. That was the last thing I know to do. But if it's that expensive to fix, at least we can get the ramps. You know, I would say get the ramps fixed if people, you know, somebody's willing to donate the wood. Okay, so no work order has been put in for that. So I would suggest put in a work order and start the process. and. Council's aware of it. I think Councilor Webb's down there at that lake quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. And I've seen some of those corners are getting pretty hairy. And yeah, you get a kid who go right through the. And I did slow. I've got a work order on some of the boards, uh, especially the one on my side. Because a guy was in a wheelchair and he came and he got caught into the room where it was rotted. Okay. And then I looked around and there was a couple, one board's raised. And it was two rotten ones. I know we I brought it up before and we talked about grading and it was really expensive, but if we don't put some marine plywood or something down there, we're gonna have to probably close those docks. So uh, maybe uh Stephanie you can note that for a safety issue at the lake. Yeah. I think that was one of the things mentioned on the post about donating the wood was that it was not yeah, really great. On it, I think. Okay, anything else? I think that one. Everything I've commented has just been to go to City Hall. I yeah, I said, I like the, I like when I said email City Hall. Um, but yeah, I think that it was not going to be marine grade, and that was one of the questions. But. 
I didn't hear you. I think they they said, oh, it might have to be marine grade. It well, didn't sound uh, like it was, but oh yeah, it should I'm be. not sure. It should be, and it's going to be a couple hundred bucks a sheet. There's, I think, was it three and a half sheets per one or something? It's not like crazy. But... Okay, anything else? What's going on with the bathroom? Um, and I can bring it up at parks this week. Um, the same may be able to. Any other counselor? Push on it. Comments? Oh, the, I actually had that written down. I was wondering when the bathroom remodel was going to start. So that was a question for the Josette, but she's not here today. So hopefully she'll address that one next time. I don't think it was going to be this year. I was thinking it was slated for this fall. She's oh, I can't, I can't remember. I don't know. I was told this summer. Oh, well, I think I heard it was going to happen this fiscal year, which started July 1st through June 31st or something like that. So I have to ask her. Anything else? No. Okay. Action item summary, Stephanie. Uh, I don't have one. I'll have to go through and put one together when we do the when I do the minutes. Okay. I have lots of notes though, I promise. Okay. No other comments or questions? I'll adjourn the meeting at seven fifty. That's a record. Wow. Meeting adjourned.